have this, I want to export this definition so I could show how this starts. So you could try and grab a screen grab of this, but a much better way to do it is you can, let's just maximize this so I can just show you here. We can go file. You can do a save as to save this document. You can also, if you do export quick image, kind of just grabs a screen grab. But if you do high res image, um, this is the color of the canvas. So you can make it a white background. You can make it transparent. You can make it like black if you wanted to, uh, whatever color you want to do. Um, and then here is where it's going to save. So you could say that wherever. Um, here's like a little render I did once of a simple structure. Um, let's just save it here. You can call this one definition one test save. If you want to like match the color, you can do that. And then the zoom is how close it's going to be. So if you want to be like closer in, full size, wherever, you can do that. And then you hit OK. And it looks like you got hacked, but you didn't get hacked. That's just it saving. And then if you pull that up, So see, it's on a transparent background. So whatever you put it on, it's going to be just that. And if you zoom in, it actually looks pretty good. Oops. So see, that I can get. Ah, oh, dang it. How do I just crawl that way? Oh, you just click and drag. And then that makes it a lot easier to kind of understand what's going on. So then if I had my InDesign, I'd drop that on there. You can label it or use the labels from within. And I always then go back and will kind of clean up the definition. So like weird stuff like that. I might pull that over like this. I see some people are like crazy, like particular, and they'll be like measuring these all out so that they're perfectly straight. And like everything aligns you can also like name these if you right click and you go here you can call this like vertical subdivisions so if you were using this for like a presentation or something like that and you wanted to print this out as like a board you can do that using the high-res export and print it out. I did this when I did my like thesis defense. I had this as like a huge board. It was like my whole definition. So any question I could point them to. And I went through and did these little like notes on it and like clustered everything together so that it would make sense. And then put little words in there so that when someone's looking at it, they can see where you're pulling stuff. And it's not just random numbers. It says like words in English that anyone could understand. And you could see that you're grabbing this information you're pulling it over here you're doing this to it and it makes it a lot easier for people to follow and then if you come back like in two years like oh yeah i did that definition so i could do all my structure in two clicks how do i do that and you open it up and it's just a bunch of random numbers like you're probably not going to remember after like a while of clicking stuff and moving the slider you're like okay here it is but if you wrote stuff the definitions that i've done this to i open them up and i'm immediately like in two seconds like they're working Whereas the other ones, like, it all be all messed up, and you're, like, just pulling it apart like spaghetti. And then it just makes it easier on yourself.
Any other questions? Or I guess any questions, because you guys haven't had any. Okay. 